Good morning, everybody. We're about to hit a chest workout. It is 5.11 in the morning, so it's breakfast time. And every breakfast I have this smoothie, it's basically protein, shake, banana, Greek yogurt, and peanut butter. It's literally always the same. We used to try to put fruit in it, but for some reason it would just make it taste really weird, so we just stopped doing that. And yeah, um, we're about to go hit chest. So see you guys there. More benching. Um, I'm trying to bench 135 right now. I'm going to see how many I can do. Probably only be able to do one. But I just want to go for it. So I warmed up with the whatever that is. I think that's 95. And we're just going straight into 135. So I know I could do it. I'm going to see maybe if I can do it for two. My prediction is that I'll get one in. I'm trying to increase my bench from 165. And that was my last PR. To 225 eventually. Obviously, I have a long way to go, so that's kind of what I've been working on. So I'm trying different techniques of strength exercises. So today we're going to do three sets of five paused reps. So yeah, let's try it. That was pretty good, if I do say so myself. So if I can do three of those, I don't know if I can still do 165, to be honest, because it's been so long since I did that. Also, it was like about 15 pounds ago, because I'm cutting weight. So I was about 15 pounds heavier last time I could do 165. So I don't know. But I'm going to take this to um, 115. And then we will even do seven pause reps, so three sets of seven pause reps, but I'm not the best at pausing. We're just going to try our best. Basically, we're just going to do as many paused as I can. I don't know how much that's going to be. That last rep. Felt oh, really weird on my shoulder break right here. I don't know what part that is. I probably could have done and should have done seven now. So we are gonna hit this weight one more time. But I don't know what that was. Felt really weird. And this one I used to have a gym buddy, so I could have like a automatic spot. But I don't think I'm gonna try to PR for a while because I need to do these like strength stuff before I try to do a PR. Maybe I'll try to work up to being able to do paused reps on 135 before I try to PR again. So far, so my current weight is 176. The goal weight is 150. So the plan is to cut until like May. And then by that point, hopefully I'll be at 150. It's just been a struggle because some days I do go over that calorie limit just because it happens, you know. But I'm working off. I don't like binge eat. I've never been like a binge eater. It's just like one 200 over, but it does add up. Here's the next one for number two. So I got five that time. So I'm going to put it down to the 25 and go 95 for the last pause set. That wasn't really that pause, to be honest. Yes. All right, that was my last one. Yeah. Flat bench. So we're gonna do incline press one way or another. So I just need to find a place for that. And I'll see if it's there. We're gonna do Smith machine incline press because I don't wanna do it with dumbbells. Mostly because when I do do it with dumbbells, I kinda of feel like I um do more of a shoulder press. Like my body doesn't understand it. It's just more comfortable. I've been working on my form on not just this one, also on the flat bench because I normally have it up too high. So to move it back a little bit. So we're gonna see how that works. Yeah. 
Thank God I could get it on that one. That was scary. And I'm gonna do one less after this. I should have four arms. I have like a good forearm definition, but like this part could be bigger. I have stamps on my hand from work. It's paw prints. Because when I'm at work, I just think about how I miss my puppy. So I just put on the paw print stamps. <laughs> and I didn't count those reps, so I don't know how many I did. Yeah, so I got your face in towards the mirror so you'll be able to see me. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea how to set this up. So I'm just gonna try my hardest. I think I'm gonna put them both at shoulder level and then just boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Don't know if I did that right, but what I do know is that it burned. It burned my boobs. So perfect. Hopefully that clip is usable. I don't know if it's to the honor. But we're just gonna pray. We only got one more set. When I put my hands together, my chest is shaking. So that must mean that something is working. All right, let's go. All right, you guys, it's time for the pump. And I'm so excited. Let's get it with the Shirt on the first. So basically, for me, well, I'm stuck in my shirt. Well, the chest progress is gonna be pretty easy because I'm like, are you guys seeing what I'm seeing? Do I have chest gains? No, I did ask you. The side chest, I think. <laughs> I think there's something there. I don't know. Honestly, I've always kind of had a bony chest because I don't really have... What I was saying originally before I cut myself off is that my chest is already very small. I had to live with it my whole life. Trust me, it does not bother me. But it's good for chest gains. A lot of muscle control. <clears throat> oh my god, my hernia. I can't hold my breath while I flex. <laughs> my hernia comes out. Okay. Don't worry about the hernia, you guys. All right, so the next upper body day is gonna be just, like I said, upper body. Shoulders, biceps, triceps, perhaps forearms, who knows, as I was talking about earlier. But yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the full day meeting. So not gonna lie, it's quite some time later because I decided I would edit my video actually before I started cooking. But I also got really cold, as you can tell. Um, and decided to just, you know, throw this whole shebang on. So, two eggs. I'm gonna throw... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That hurt. Ugh. I need to focus a little more. I throw some spinach in there as well. Just really get it cooking. Obviously got my salt and pepper to just put on in there, so... Just gonna go ahead and cook that up and show you guys the result. I am really upset about that. I don't know what happened. It really hurts, to be honest. Ow. Hey guys, here's my beautiful meal completed for my beautiful snack. And that orange, bright, red 40 looking sauce is buffalo sauce. The Buffalo Wild Wings brand. About 30 calories. So the total macros will be listed right here. I'm also eating this apple, so it's a very balanced meal. I love these apples. I got them from Costco. They're like Fuji apples or whatever. Look at it in all its glory. Imagine a nice chomp of that. That's what I'm about to have, so happy evening to me. And I have to feed the baby, little Hobie. I will see you guys for probably lunch. Hey guys, took a shower, did an outfit change, 
and it is 12.45, and we're pulling out the big dogs, the big guns for this meal. I don't know why I said big dogs. So, we are going to be eating, as I said, some big meat right here. Nope. Angus Choice Beef Patties. Mm hmm Very nutritious. Amazing. Tastes good. But we're going to have something else along with it. Frozen vegetables. Yep. A mix of them, to be exact. I'm sure everybody's seen this exact bag before. Along with some white rice that I already cooked. My boyfriend just got home, so I'm late to make lunch. Say hi. Hi. Okay, I'll be back once I already made the food. Hey okay, guys, lunch is done. So I'm gonna give you guys a little look at it. Hopefully it doesn't fall out. That would really suck. So basically, it kind of looks like meatloaf from that angle, but it's steak sauce, sugar-free steak sauce, those meat patties that I just showed you. I literally love it so much. It's the perfect meal ever. The only problem is it kind of makes my stomach feel weird. So, oh my gosh. Here, it just fell out of my plate, but I'm still going to eat it because it tastes good. Also, I used to think that brown rice was better for you, but then I saw like some sort of like, video or something that said that it was bad for you. It actually kind of freaked me out, so I'm not eating brown rice anymore ever, only white rice. So I'm going to mix this up, then I'm going to eat it, and then I'm probably going to have a snack before I go to work. So I'll see you guys for snack time. Snack. All right, you guys. So this is my snack. For right before work it's peanut butter the most sad tiny amount of peanut butter of all time with a rice cake and i'm just gonna have two rice cakes so i'm also probably gonna eat an apple just to be completely honest with you guys so consider that i'm eating an apple right now consider me eating it right this moment so i'm about to go to work just have to put my work shirt on and yeah see you guys for dinner Okay, guys, so we got a super easy and simple last meal of the day. I just got home from work. It is 8, 12 p.m. Proof. And it's time to eat my last meal. I am so hungry. It is actually much harder than I thought it would be to cut my calories by 300. I'm literally hungry all the time. So, yeah. Um, Here's the beautiful final meal of the night. That is cod with rice and vegetables. And yeah, if you noticed, I had a lot of vegetables today and a lot of rice. And you know what? I love it, so I don't really care. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you for the next vid.